Good evening, everybody. It's Lynn the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It is Tuesday. Today is it Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. It's uh, it was a beautiful day today. It was chilly, windy. Leather Bag Lady weather report. But the sun was out. The colors are spectacular at the moment. But we will talk about that after today's bag. So. Did I bring a bag for yesterday? No, I didn't. Did I bring a bag for today? No, I didn't. So I had my counseling session today and I thought I would go to the Benevolent, which is a thrift store in Grimsby, where my counseling is. And I found a couple of things. I found a few things. So I found this little satin clutch change purse, small little thing, and it had a gorgeous tassel on it. And I thought, ooh. I really like that because you know me and a tassel. And I picked it up. I bought it. I got it home and there was a label inside, but I couldn't figure out what it was because it's a dark, dark, dark indigo blue and the writing is black. So I had to put the light on my phone, shine it in there. Giorgio Armani. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm like, all right, does your leather bag lady have taste or does your leather bag lady have taste? My mom and I were like, woohoo! <laughs> so here is this little piece of indigo blue loveliness. Now, the lighting in here is god awful. So let me see if I can't. There's a little um, embroidery detail here this fantastic tassel it's a satin fabric there's some pictures um obviously there's some pictures on the uh etsy shop but um it is so gorgeous this little bit of it's just it's some flowers but it is the Deepest, deepest blue color. Little kiss lock. It opens up. Now, my phone would have fit in it without the otter box on it. But with the otter box uh, case on it, it wouldn't fit. Here is your... Uh, you're not going to be able to see it. That's the Giorgio Armani. Oh, there you go, actually. I think the... Lighting has Giorgio Armani. <laughs> I'm so excited. So there you go. That is today's listing. Now I've listed it 80s. I tried to do a little bit of um, research on it. And there were some, uh, some little uh, satin purses that were coming up from the 80s. So... Again, I don't have receipts. I don't have any definitive way of um, aging these items. Normally, I go by the foam pouch, but clearly that doesn't have a foam pouch. So I have just uh, done some comparisons on uh, Google and 80s seems to be the consensus. So Anyway, I didn't speak to you yesterday. It was holiday Monday yesterday. So I took the day to hang out with my family and I visited with some friends. I have had an amazing weekend. I really wasn't sure how this weekend would go. I hate long weekends. I hate them as a single woman. I hate them. They make me remember how shit I feel being on my own. They make me remember recently when I wasn't on my own. But you know what? I've had such a great weekend. And it all started with my girlfriend, Connie, who invited me last minute Friday to go to uh, her trailer in Dunville. Uh, same trailer park as where Brucey lives. He's getting rid of his trailer, so he wasn't there. There was, there was very few people there, actually. But I got to see um, Mike and Jordy. I got to see um, Lori and Larry. I got to see Jules. Hi, Jules. And Brad. 
and um, hope to. I was kind of hoping to see Blair and uh, Carrie, but didn't see them. And uh, uh, Bronco and Maria. I had to explain to Bronco that he who shall not be mentioned is no longer um, with me. He did not believe that at all. It took <laughs> it took a few moments for him to believe me. He was just stunned. So that was kind of shitty. I had to explain to a few people that I am no longer with my husband. And uh, there were some very surprised people. Um, I said, I'm surprised. I can imagine how you guys are. But it was great. We had um, Friday night. We just hung out with uh, ourselves, basically. Uh, Saturday was the most beautiful day. We put furniture away. We took down the curtains. I'm kind of glad I wasn't there to take down the uh, curtains at the trailer in Cayuga because that sucked balls. So somebody else can deal with that. Um, and we just were out in the sun all day. We got lots of sun. Um, uh, Mike and his buddies showed up on their bikes. Yeah. That was, there was a little moment there where it was like, uh, but you know what? Overall, it was fantastic. We had a potluck dinner. Uh, there was a DJ and Bronco's wife, Maria, my goodness me, she danced her face off and I danced my face off with her too. I got asked out on a date. So I've been really, really kind of, uh, spinning a little bit on that one. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Um, and so complimentary. So, you know, you're 56. You don't look. And you know what? My immediate go-to was you're full of shit, buddy. And I had to talk to my counselor about that today. I said, am I going to forever be very suspicious about somebody who is just over the top? Nice complimentary because that's how they suck you in that is how they suck you in and I am now very aware of that so I'm very skeptical and I but I don't want to be one of those kind of people who never is allowing anybody to be genuine but um it's a little too soon for me I think I appreciate the offer <laughs> but I'm not really I don't think I'm ready for it yet. And plus, I'm going to be away for the winter. And what's the point? What is the point? And I'm not, you know, hankering for any intimacy or anything like that. It's been three months and I am so grateful that I haven't even had to worry about that. It's not even on my radar. I was getting pressured about that for most of my marriage, actually. And um, I'm really glad that I don't have to deal with that anymore. That's, again, somebody else's problem. But it's never really a problem in the beginning, is it? Because, I mean, you just screw like bunnies in the beginning. And then, unfortunately, that's the expectation moving forward. But all new relationships are like that. And, you know, it didn't matter how many times I tried to explain that. It didn't matter. The expectation was still there. So, um Anyway, so yeah, it was nice to be asked. It was nice to have all that uh, attention uh, bestowed on me. And apparently at some point it got a little handsy. I don't remember that. <laughs> and Connie was like, right, time to go. So I had a great time at the trailer. Came back to mom and dad's on Sunday. Um, I didn't really do anything Sunday. My daughter came back Sunday evening, so me and my daughter are staying at my mom's right now. It's like, it's a little much, really. But anyway, I had um, coffee. Oh, Sunday, mom and dad and I went to Swiss Chalet. And um, yesterday, I had a beautiful, beautiful meeting with a lady that I used to do shows with back in the day. And this is just, you know, Thanksgiving being truly, truly, truly grateful for all the wonderful friends, my family, my extended family, who have just been so supportive of this hard time for me and really have helped me understand that 
there is nothing I could have done to have any of a different end result in this situation. This whole situation had nothing to do with me. It is all past crap that was brought into our marriage and um, had nothing to do with me. So I am not, uh, not out of the woods yet, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it is going to be a very, very, very busy time and from now until when the trailer closes, the end of November. And then December, I think I'm going to be with my aunt in Sarnia. January, I'm going to be in Florida. And February, March, I'm going to be in the UK, Scotland. And I'm hoping to go visit somewhere warm while I do that. So plans are all just plans at the moment. They could change in a heartbeat. My dad, <laughs> my mom was asking me how I got along with the... Uh, the counseling session and I thought a bit about it I thought should I let them know that I got asked out and I thought you know what in for a penny in for a pound so I said I we talked about me being asked down on a date and my dad just stopped he goes we're not going through this again are we I said nope <laughs> nope not at all so um my status is that I am too young to be on my own for the rest of my life. I'm not stupid, but I am not ever, ever living with anybody else. I am not ever, ever doing anybody else's cooking, cleaning, laundry, grocery shopping, toilet cleaning, walking the dog, mowing the lawn. I am not doing any of that for anybody else. I will do it for myself all day long, but I am not being mom to anybody else. I've raised my kids and I'm not raising anybody else. So fun is the um, fun is the element of desire. And uh, that is going to be for the minute what I am looking for. And by that, I don't mean men fun. I just mean fun across the board, just getting out of my head. Um, having a good weekend this weekend was a very big deal for me. I was very, very anxious about this weekend. Um, I was so grateful that I didn't have to go anywhere and pretend to be interested in anything, anybody, because I didn't have to go anywhere I didn't want to go. And um, it's just been really, really good. And I have to thank Connie I can't even tell you how grateful I am to her because without that invitation, I would have sat in my trailer. I would have wallowed in poor me, you know, here I am on my own and they're probably out on the bike and they're probably, you know, having Thanksgiving dinner here, there and everywhere. And I really didn't even think about it. And a little bit I did. I mean, let's be realistic. It's only been three months. So come on now. Um, not all of us can move on in a second. So it, um, it was really, really good. And, and again, to all of you out there who have just been so supportive, I can't thank you enough. So tomorrow shop at the shed. I'm not sure how successful I'm going to be, um, with that because I am having lunch with some very interesting people tomorrow. I can't share that with you, but I am having a very interesting lunch tomorrow and um, then I will be heading home after that. So I'll be back next week. It's just going to be a crazy busy time from now until the end of the season at the trailer. Um, they are having a town hall at the trailer next Saturday, which I had a list of questions the length of my arm, but I'm going to be working. I have a show in Kitchener, so I won't be there, but I certainly would like to get all my questions answered. That is for sure because I think my unit is about to jump in value big time um, just because of what they have planned for the part. But I want to get that confirmed before I share that with you. Anyway, everybody, hope you all had a great weekend. If you're in, in Canada, hope you had a great Thanksgiving weekend. If you're in the U.S., you still have your Thanksgiving weekend to come. But it was just a great weekend. I'm so grateful, so grateful. And um, I will talk to you tomorrow. Might not be Shop of the Shed, 
it could well be another vintage bag experience. But either way, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.